Alright guys, uh, welcome back to another Swedish supplement video. This time we're going to taste test the EAA uh, engine. We have uh, two different flavors. We have the mango passion fruit and we have the cola lime flavor. Uh, so we're gonna mix it uh, in water and we're gonna give it a rating from 1 to 10. Where do you want to begin? Uh, we can probably be begin with the cola, I'm guessing. If you didn't watch our previous uh, video on the Swedish supplement where we like unboxed everything and explained everything, you can check it up in the corner that is up uh, there. Yeah, <laughs> just checking, making sure. Yeah, there we got uh, BCAs and also EAA. So we're making another video after this uh, where we test the BCA and we're also going to run on both of these for a week, as explained in a previous video. Yeah, normal scoop, nothing special with 300 milligrams. Milliliters. Yeah, a little bit over 300 milliliters of water. Mm. Uh, so just to explain what EAAs are, uh, what it stands for is essential amino acids. Uh, there are nine essential amino acids and this includes all nine. Uh, on the BCAAs that only has the three most essential for building muscle, this has all nine and some extra uh, ingredients which help with recovery and uh, building muscle. How's it looking? It's looking pretty good actually. Pretty smooth. It's not a lot of powder. Are you sure this is the cola lime? Yeah. It doesn't really smell like cola lime. Seriously? No. I'll smell the lime. You smell it? Doesn't smell like cola, no, kind yeah. of like a lime uh, flavorish. Mm. All right, cheers. We taste it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we could maybe have a little bit more water. Yeah, it wasn't too strong. Yeah, because this recommends two to three centiliters, right? No, three, three, two to three deciliters. Deciliters, yeah, but we went over three deciliters, and it's yeah. still a bit strong. It's not but, very good flavor mm, though, but, no. it, but it's very strong. Mm. Um, okay. Ready to uh, give our ratings. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. Seven and eight. Yeah. Yeah. So it was. It was alright. Yeah, it was pretty good. Mm. Uh, I think we're gonna put a little bit more water uh, in the uh, mango passion fruit one. Mm. Agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I completely agree. All right. So now we put in about 450 milliliters. So basically uh, 100 milliliters more. So hopefully it's gonna be a little like more of a mellow taste because it was a little bit too strong mm. on the cola lime flavor. Very fruity uh, smell. Oh yeah, that smells a lot of passion fruit. This was no foam. Yeah, the other one was very foamy. I think maybe. Yeah, it smells very good. Yeah. So hopefully this is a strong one. smell. So if this yeah. was 300, I think this would be heavy to drink. Yeah. I think it helped to put a little bit more water in it, but mm. uh, we'll, we'll see. A lot of more water helped, yeah. for sure. But very, very fruity and nice, like mm. very fresh tasting. There is the um, synthetic hint, I feel, uh, but it's still pretty good. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks. Very good. Mm. All right, you ready? For a rating, yeah. Yeah. Three, two, one. Eight, nine. Eight, nine. Yeah. yeah. That was. Uh, it's, it's just like a one rating above the cola lime, just yeah, straight up. Yeah, basically. Mm. I think the cola lime would be better with uh, some extra water as well. Mm. But when we do the in-depth review, we can definitely test it out. Yeah. Mm. So we're gonna try out a few things. Maybe we can mouthfuck it yeah, and we'll see them. how it is. Yeah, we'll do a bunch of different things, probably over the course of like two. a week or two, maybe. Yeah. We'll yeah. see. We'll see like everything like from like different ways of in ingesting it, yeah. uh, taste. Uh, how, how, how experimental are you? <laughs> I'll just gonna go to the apotheque and get some syringe. <laughs> But uh, we'll uh, figure out many different ways to uh, like yeah. have fun with it and also see like the effect of course, that's the main point. Uh, as we said in the other Swedish video, I don't have any like uh, amino acids uh, as a supplement, uh, but you do. You do it I daily, do. right? Yeah. yeah. 
mix it with my uh, creatine and drink it during my workout. Mm. I have started creatine now. I'm on my second day. So oh uh, shit! No, yeah, my second day. Yeah. Big boy. Yeah, here I come. <laughs> I'm gonna become massive. And then uh, and we'll 600 see. 600 so. total. Here we come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get a few weeks. We're good. Uh, but when we do the in-depth review, uh, we're gonna try all the different like recommendations. So they recommend you do it daily. You can do it during your workout or post workout. They do not recommend it before, before or at night. Why? I don't know. Pre, uh, it's not recommended because breaking down the amino acids and using them uh, takes energy. Right? Yeah. So mm. I think I think that's why they don't recommend it. Like before your workout mm. but it can be good during your workout to rebuild muscle faster mm. uh, but we'll see if we notice any difference this is like the second episode in the mini series we're waiting for a new design from swedish supplements on the bcaas yeah because we were uh, pretty fucking slow with the, the yeah. other video so <laughs> it's been a while a long time coming but uh, yeah, yeah. Ho hopefully now that the gyms are open and everything uh, hopefully we're gonna make it happen soon mm. uh, but thank you guys so much for watching uh, please like subscribe follow us both on instagram and our power building apparel account uh, <laughs> and until next time keep smashing those weights